What's going on guys? Travis Kennedy here, owner of Kennedy Defensive Shooting, and today we're going to be talking about pistol fundamentals. We're going to be taking it back to the basics. Here we go. Alright guys, we're going to be talking about the basics today. Alright, something that everyone I feel needs to understand fully, often gets overlooked, but today I'm going to do a video on how to, everything I'm going to touch on all the basics from the ground up. So first thing I like to teach is stance. Okay. My feet are shoulder width apart. As you can see, I'm a right-handed shooter, so I'm right-hand dominant. I have my left leg slightly in front of my right. So if you're a left-handed shooter, you just be exact opposite of me. Okay. I have my knees are slightly bent, and I'm bending over at the waist just a little bit. Okay. I'm not things I don't want to see. My feet directly in line, and I don't want to be f standing upright. Okay. When I shoot, I'll, I'll tend to lose balance once I start shooting. I'll lose balance and fall over. I want to be able to lean into the pistol and control it and have full recoil management. Okay, another point I like to touch on is what I do with my eyes. Okay, I'm a huge advocate and I recommend people start getting used to just shooting both eyes open. Okay, a lot of times it's hard for people to, to do that, but it's as time goes on, you practice it, you're going to get used to it, it's going to become natural. And the reason being is if we close one eye, now we're limiting our field of view, we cut off if we're left or right. I dominant doesn't matter. We're going to cut off a portion of our uh, field of vision, which is bad. We want to keep as much situational awareness as we as we can while we shoot, and we do that by keeping both eyes open. That way we can see everything. So first point is we need to establish which eye dominant we are. Okay, either whether it be left or right. A little trick I like to do is right now I'm using my target. Okay, I'm just picking a circle on this, on this target, it doesn't matter. Or if you're in your house, you could use just something on the wall. And what I do is I make a, a diamond, I make a triangle, excuse me, a tri triangle with my uh, hands. I put that circle in dead center of this triangle. I close my left eye. If the circle remains in this triangle, then I'm right eye dominant. Okay, for whatever reason, if I close my left eye and it moved, then I may be the other eye dominant, okay? For me, I'm right eye dominant, but for you, if you close your left eye, and for whatever reason the circle's not there anymore, you may be left eye dominant. Okay, so first, establish that. Once you establish that, now go out and implement it. What I like to do is, a point of performance for shooting with both eyes open is just squint really hard, okay? And what I do is I, I squint damn hard. When I go to shoot, punch out, and I'm squinting hard. So I could focus on that front sight and my target. Okay? Both eyes are open so I could see everything on my left side. I could see if something were to happen over here, I could see it. I could quickly transition to my next target if I have to in a real world situation. Okay? Or maybe just practicing drills out here, doing multiple targets. I could still see everything if I have to. Okay, if I close my eye, now I'm limiting. So gra gradually start opening up your non-dominant eye and get full awareness. Okay, And over time, trust me, it's going to get a lot easier. All right, here's some drills I like to do to practice the fundamentals. Okay, is what I do pretty much every time I come to the range, I do these drills. Okay, so the target I like to use is this multi-dot multi target of different various sizes. Uh, Typically I start here, the big one, and then I just work around, okay? Or I may start smaller and work this way, it just depends. And you could always mix it up, that's why I like these targets, you could change it up. You could start small, work big, or big to small, okay? So that's going to help you dictate your speed as well and accuracy. Even with these big targets, that being said, I don't utilize all this space, okay? I still try to keep my groupings fairly tight, as tight as I can, okay? and work my way around. Okay, let's, let's do some drills. Okay, here, we're at the seven yard line. Okay, got a full bag, load it. So, points of performance here. Every time I go to load, I do it the same way every single time. Okay, I get my stance. I bring the pistol up to my base. Okay, rotate it over. Here, I'm holding the mag. The base of the mag is in the base of my palm. 
I got my index finger going up the side. It's gonna help me keep full control over this magazine. Okay, when I rotate the pistol, now I can see the magwell, watch the, the magazine go in the magwell, I hit it hard, rotate it over, and I rack it. Okay, press check it, make sure there's a round in there. Good, now it's fully forward. For beginners, I want you to start here at the high ready position. Okay, points of performance, remember I'm looking over the muzzle, I'm not obstructing my view, and when I go to present, it's in a straight line. So a typical drill I like to do is on the beep, here it's random, I just punch out one shot, big target. Come back. Okay, I can gauge myself the time. Okay, watch and make sure I'm consistent with my time. Okay, I like to get under a second. Uh, so, but a gauge for everybody. As when you're a newbie, it may be longer, doesn't matter. But build that consistency. Okay, punch out. Okay, and then once I go through a mag, I may change it up. I like to do two shots. Okay, watch how the consistency. My shot is, okay, here, go to a smaller target, go back to one shot, okay, one shot, may go to the really small target, it's going to take me, I need to slow it down a little bit, slow it down, okay. Now the drill, with all these multiple, I hit all of them one time. So on the beep, I'll shoot every single circle one time. Magazine change, come back on target. Okay. You could go through a few rounds, this rep after rep after rep. Utilize every circle on this dot. That's gonna build consistency, make you really good. Okay, don't just sit here and do the same thing with no, uh, without gauge. Okay, you wanna gauge this thing. Okay, the important tool that I have that's gonna make you really good is a shot timer. Okay, this is a, a tool that's gonna set a standard for you and push you. There's no way you're gonna get better if you have no gauge on whether how fast you're going because you gauge your, your skill level by how fast you are also how accurate you are. Okay, so this is an important tool. I highly recommend you getting one of these. Okay. A lot of people ask me what they need, tools they need for the range, and I hear this number one tool, I believe that's gonna help you get better overall as a shooter, all right, enhance your performance is this right here, the shot timer. My favorite one is the Pocket Pro 2. I've used this one for, at this company for a decade now, and it hasn't failed. Uh, this thing's highly reliable. I, I use it every single time I come to the range. It has a lot of good presets, but I simply just use it, just me here alone, and I do it with my students. Okay, it's a good gauge, and it helps me keep track of my baseline, whether I'm getting worse, whether I'm you know, maintaining, maybe I'm just plateauing, or I'm getting better as I go on and as I practice more. So I highly recommend, if you, wanna, if you take your uh, shooting seriously, get one of these things. It's going to step up your game uh, immensely. All right, next drill is going to be the magazine change. I really love this drill. Okay, this is a good drill to just rep after rep after rep. It's going to build that muscle memory and you're going to be nice and fluid over time. I'm shooting a steel target. We're about 12 yards away. Okay, set up for the drill. I'm coming from the holster. I got one in the chamber, empty magazine in the gun. Okay, so I'm only going to take one shot. Slide's going to lock to the rear and then I'm gonna go for the next mag and take one more shot. So it's gonna look like this. On the beep, make sure I have the timer. Hands are at my side. Draw. Out. Okay. I'll slow it down. Talk about the points of performance. I touched on this earlier, same points of performance come from the draw. Remember the touch points, rear the grip, come down, draw, drop the elbow, punch out straight line, take the slack out, 
align the sights so hard to take my shot. I get slide lock. I quickly rotate it, pressing the mag release button. It drops. My left hand immediately goes for the next mag. Haul ass. Look at my pistol. My head is up. I'm not down. Okay, I want to keep my situational awareness up in front of me. So I up, rotate the gun. I manipulate the gun to my advantage so I can see the mag well. I move quickly here from my mag pouch to the gun. Okay, from here to here. I slow down as soon as I arrive here because I've done this hundreds of times. I see it all the time. People move too fast and they miss. Okay, or they may not have a good grip. Where I, you don't want to grip it like this. You want to grip it like this. Fast in. Watch it go in. Slam it. It locks. I rotate it over. Rack the slide. Right back on target. And I shoot. All right. One more time. Draw. Here. Right there when I, in that example, when I put the mag in the gun, the slide went home. It happens a lot on this Glock 45. It'll happen on other guns too. It's not uncommon. So just be aware if it does that, good. Then represent, reacquire your grip, present the target, take your shot. Okay. If it doesn't do that, then you either need to do the release the slide with your hand or you can press the slide release lever here. Okay. And that's done like this. The mag out, in, slide release button, back on target. Engage. Okay, now full speed. Draw. Mag out. Come back. 393. Okay, that was a 393. Goal is to try to get under five seconds. All right, fast is under four seconds, so give that a shot. Rep that out, rep that out, all right? That's a good way if you're limited on ammo, load one round, magazine change, load another round, and you just get reps, okay? Vice just come into the range and utilize your time wisely, all right? Especially if you're limited on the amount of ammunition you have. All right, guys, that concludes the video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe below. Follow my social media links. You can find me on Instagram at TravisKenny267. Keep training hard, teams.